Thank you, Scooter. I had the chance to help restart Parkway's FCA Tuesday. We had a great group on hand in the morning. Monday's Elida FCA is back in session at 9 a.m. this Monday. So all Bulldogs, you're welcome to come out to that. Tonight, we look at the ways God's working through Bluffton University with school back in session a week now. I'm excited to see just the growth we have on campus, not only in our sports teams, but also in academics and especially in spiritual life. I feel like we got a lot of young leaders that are about to take charge and really on fire for God. So I'm excited to see where it leads. God's really been teaching me how, I, how much I depend on him for everyday needs, uh, not only food and water and whatnot, but also that uh, my peace comes from him and also my strength comes from him. I'm a baseball coach here and it's hard sometimes to not give in to temptation, but just leaning on him, I found strength. Salina FCA started last Friday. They also are feeling that strength. Oh, it's great, man. I'm so excited. We've been working for this for a couple years now, and I'm just glad that I can be one of the top guys with it this year. Through that long journey, Miller's learned much from God. He's really been teaching me to be patient, and that just because something doesn't happen the very first time right away the best way it can doesn't mean that something great isn't going to happen we all have to be patient we have to learn that he's always got a plan for us and that patience plays heavily in his sport of cross country yeah that's really what i've been learning too i've uh noticed that my uh paces have been uh pretty good lately but uh I've just been telling the other guys, you got to be patient with it. When people go out sprinting, you really can't be going out sprinting with them. You have to go at your own pace or else you're really not going to do well. Miller was one of 70 that attended our first two FCA leadership training sessions. The final one coming up Sunday, September 13th, 2 p.m. right here at TV 44. Contact me if you'd like to come.